Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd share a little shopping haul that I had over the weekend and let you know what I got. So if you'd like to see what I purchased from Ulta, Sephora, Bath and Body Works, and Target, keep on watching. Okay, so it was a fun weekend. I got hmm, got to do a little bit of shopping, use some gift cards. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd just kind of quickly show you what I got, what I'm really loving, and some stuff that I've tried out and I wanted to purchase because I really liked all that fun stuff. So first off, this weekend, I went to Bath & Body Works. I needed some new candles. I've been really into them lately. I just really love the scents and the colors. And yeah, and I need a cup and drink of coffee. Mm. it's a little cold okay so I picked up so I'm always looking for the scents but also the colors because I want them to match just my um living room area so I picked up this it's champagne toast you guys this smells so good it's such a like fragrance of I don't know champagne it's bubbly champagne sparkling berries and juicy tangerine this is giving me all the spring and summer vibes. I'm so excited and I cannot wait to start burning it. Um, and then I also picked up Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. I really liked the scene on this. And this is a um, tropical passion fruit, radiant kiwi, and juicy pineapple. Those are all my favorite things. But this one is not like so overly sweet. And I don't know what makes it almost have like a, like a manly smell to it. It's not, I don't know, it's kind of, there's something that cuts the sweetness that is not written here on this thing. Okay? I don't know. But it's it's really good, and I really, really like that. I don't know which one I'm going to um, burn first. And then I also picked up, I have never tried the wallflowers. Ever. Um, but hey, I thought I'd try it. Don't I don't know how these work, or what you do, or if there's on and off button, but what else? I picked up one of these and I wanted to, I really like the smell of the champagne toast, so I thought I'd just try it, um, cause I wanted to. And I always wait till these candles go on sale, you guys, never buy them full price. So these were $10 off and they also had a 20% off coupon, so I thought, yes, it's time. So I picked those up, so, yahoo! Oh, and then I went to Sephora, no, not Sephora, I went to, I did go to Sephora, but next I'm going to do my Ulta haul. So, I originally picked up the Urban Decay, like the new, oh, I know, they um, changed, like eyebrow pencil with the like felt tip on this, on there. Um, it came broken and it was the wrong color. So, I, I had tried to take it back, this is the second time I've tried to take it back where they don't have them in stock. Like, the color that I need is always out of stock and it's the darkest color they have. So, I was like, what else? And I was like, whatever. So I'll just get, I'll return it and get other stuff. So might as well get in. And I had $11 in the like points stuff. So I think I only paid like such a small amount for what I got. So the first thing I got was the Dose of Colors lip liner. Now I've um, heard really good stuff about these and I got the color Undressed. Undressed. And um, they're kind of cool and sleek. They come like this. And it's a really pretty, like, nude color. Almost, like, too nude for me. Like, let me see if I can just, like, put that on there. Can you see that? Like, that color right there. Um, but I thought it'd be kind of nice because I have, like, my lip color is, like, it just naturally has almost, like, a a darker lip liner color so sometimes when I wear lighter lipsticks or um, nude colors like you can kind of see that outline so this is a good neutralizer and it's just a really pretty color you can even just like put it fill it on your lips so I do really like that um, and then I also picked up this I took it out of the box it, it looks like this it is a flower um, blush bomb color drops for your cheeks and it's this really pretty color I'll show you in the color cinnamon and like look at this like how cool is that little like nozzle right and then oh my gosh I'm having the world it just knows um you just kind of like comes out now Jam, Jam Beauty 89 really likes this she likes a different color 
but I thought I'd try this. Let me just lay. It's this right here. I thought that'd be really, really pretty. I really like it, so I'm excited to try that out. Um, I am not super good with cream blushes, but she recommends like putting it on your wrist and then just kind of like blending in with the beauty blender. So I'm definitely gonna try that. What else did I pick up? Oh yeah. I also picked up the Buxom Wonderless Primer Infused Blush. I've heard really great things about that. I got it in the color Dolly, which I also love the Dolly Lip Pencil gloss plumper anyway I like the lip color and the color dolly and this is what it looks like how pretty is that color right so pretty let me just swatch it for you so you can also see um, I might have dug my finger a little bit too hard in that um, but that's it right layer how pretty is that and it has like um, a sheen to it. So if you don't like um, something with a sheen, then this may not be um, good for you. But it's also like really creamy. And they're supposed to be long lasting because they're that primer infused. Um, it's kind of like this mix between like a powder and a cream. I don't know. They're really soft and really pretty. So I'm excited to try that. Okay. Is that my Ulta haul? That is my Ulta haul. So again, I returned something. I had points and so literally it's like almost free it's a lie it's not almost free it was like eleven dollars something like that okay next up i hit up sephora i had a gift card and i wanted to purchase some new things and so i did so the first thing i picked up was the dark chocolate soleil um bronzer now this is a matte bronzer that i am obsessed with you guys this is an actual repurchase i have hit pan on mine and it's supposed to last for 12 months uh, you guys i don't know i know i've had it longer than 12 months and it has a little bit of dots in it and i just thought you know what it's time you have hit pan <laughs> you have like it's it's time you know so i picked up the new one like this is like i don't even have it in this it's like the old um, packaging and yeah so it's just like the perfect bronzer for me I really really like it it's like the one bronzer that is like my tried and true like never fails me I travel with it I just love it I'm really interested to try the new hula bronzer in uh, caramel also but this I mean I don't think I could find this is like the perfect shade for me so excited to have a new one of those and to dig into that. Next up, I picked up, you guys, two lipsticks. No, just kidding, I didn't. These are from my Nordstrom's haul. <laughs> we'll hold off on that. Um, I picked up the Dr. Jart Sika Pear Tiger Grass Cream this stuff you guys it's so good it's called a derma green solution so it is really good if you have redness and um, it's good for sensitive skin or if you're having like a rash or a breakout and stuff like that it's supposed to be really for those kind of things it's a um hydrate soothes redness and itching due to dryness so you guys i highly recommend this it comes in a tube I've already been using it. I had received a sample of it somewhere and also I had purchased like a, a Sika Pair little like trial size like sample of all of their like this line. There's some stuff that I died for like the overnight mask and this. I can't get enough of this you guys. It is so so good. <laughs> um, and so I was like yes I have to purchase the full size. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I even was like, okay, I got like partly through some of my samples and I had to repurchase it. I mean, not repurchase, purchase the big one because I wanted to be able to travel with those little ones. So you guys, if you have dry skin and you suffer from redness and stuff like that, this is so good. And I don't suffer from redness and super dry stuff, skin stuff, skin stuff. And I love it. It's so good. Okay. And then I also picked up the sephora pro mini flawless airbrush now i also this was on a recommendation from jam beauty 89 she loves this for blending out her concealer and i thought yes i need it because sometimes you guys i just don't want to deal with the beauty blender and i don't want to wet it and i don't feel like using my fingers and i want to be fast and quick and i don't want to worry about that kind of stuff so i thought this would be perfect to kind of blend it out now i originally went and got the 
regular one in the brush area and it was like $35 and I just thought oh, brutal but I'm just gonna do it and um when I was in the Sephora death aisle which is really the sample aisle and you go down it and you just pick up a bunch of stuff that you need to have in the mini sizes and it equals to like $200 right the death aisle rude awful it's the worst but also the best but anyway I was just like leisurely going through like I normally do thinking don't pick it up just leave it there don't look too closely but they had the mini one and I thought that is perfect so I picked up the mini size it was 20 bucks and I kind of think I've gotten rid of two of these brushes because now that I think about it when you're a rouge I think you get one of these for free and I think I'm giving them away no look because if I already have it I'm taking this back more than likely I had it and then I gave it away there's to you Marie Kondo for making me give everything away just kidding I never even watched it because I'm pretty sure if I watched that series I wouldn't have anything left in this house because I already get rid of everything I know okay let's move on lastly I picked up the Natasha Denona mini sunset palette again walking the death eye at Sephora and yes and I actually have heard these aren't that great and I still purchased it because I love these colors and I just thought hey I'm not like a pro makeup artist I probably won't even realize that it's not that great it's probably gonna be like and I haven't tried the original so I have nothing to compare it to so if you don't have the original because you don't want to spend $179 on a palette which I would love to spend and get I want one not today not tomorrow I don't know but anyway so I mean if you like don't know like really good shadows like Natasha Denona maybe the $25 one is just great and you're gonna think it's awesome that's my theory but anyway these colors are super good I thought this would be perfect for traveling because it has a perfect transition color something to deepen it up and then three like a uh, light a uh, kind of a dark and a cranberry shimmer I thought hey easy throw it in but you know that it's like this and five other palettes are going to come with me when I travel because I will be too nervous that this is not enough Shouldn't have even gone yet, right? Okay, anyway. Tangents. Okay, obsession alert. Obsession alert. Don't say I didn't warn you. These are so good. These Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lips. Is that what they're called? Crushed li Liquid Lips. Game changer. I have one on today. Juicy date. I can't explain the formula. You can see it's not matte it's glossy but not super glossy but it feels like nothing it's so easy to apply it's beautifully pigmented and it wears off beautifully like I love a matte lipstick I love all of that kind of fun stuff but it dries out my lips I feel like it wears off funny and then I'm constantly worried about what it looks like raise your hand if that is you like I feel like I want to look in the mirror all the time I feel like I'm constantly like making sure like does my lips look good does my lipstick look good who has a mirror does my lipstick look good because it's just like sometimes they wear off so badly and these just start to kind of just like come off it's not flaking like it's you kind of stain left it's beautiful um these are the three colors I have and they all have these really pretty like neutral colors like they're such beautiful colors Bobbi Brown does lipsticks beautifully their color range I feel like there really is something for everyone and yeah so I originally got smoothie move which is probably my deepest one and I love it it's so pretty um let's swatch that so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the swatches at the end and then I also just picked up these are, I think I got Smoothie Move at Sephora. The Some of the colors are kind of hard to find because I think people love these so much. And then at Nordstrom's, I picked up Give a Fig, which is this pretty color. And that's the color I'm wearing right now. I'll swatch that on my arm. That's really similar to Smoothie Move or whatever I said. And the last one I got, and I wore this yesterday, is Juicy Date. And this is the lightest color and still really pretty. So I'm going to show you when I have they're right here smoothie move 
juicy date give a fig like how pretty are those you guys i am obsessed like i want the whole line bobby brown sent me the whole line the whole line obsessed I'd be a big fan but really so good you guys like i can definitely see myself getting more these are just kind of the colors that i thought i would get the most use out of right now as i kind of build up my collection but you guys so good it makes me want to get rid of every other lipstick that i have okay looking around yes i plant from sephora and then yesterday i went to target so i thought i'd share even though it's not being exciting but i thought hey while i'm hauling might as well right so first up if you've watched my hauls before it's always gonna include excuse me it's always gonna include stuff for my students i can't help it so i was in the dollar section of target i got this really cute paint shop matching activity um who can you know matching for colors and i love that it has english and spanish on it because how fun is that um again three dollars like why not and then i also got fun with feelings memory game i think that teaching children memory 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 and emotions is really really important um but kind of identify the feelings and stuff like that three dollars can't really beat it okay hopefully that's the last thing i got for my students no not really though okay i already use this it's the Kristen S. Wide Tooth Detangling Comb. So good and so pretty. I better go get it. Okay, so here it is. Like, how pretty is that? I couldn't really pass it up. And I needed a new comb for the shower. I could have gotten a cheaper one, but it's so pretty. Okay, also from the Kristen S. line, I picked up the Micellar Shampoo. It's scalp purifying. Um, I typically need a pur purifying shampoo about once a week to really just um, take out the texturizing stuff. Um the dry shampoo and it really does help my scalp i tend to pick at my scalp and it's dry so that kind of helps it to kind of clear clear it up and i also picked up when i find it oh here it is um the kristen s scalp scrub so i used the way one and i loved it maybe there was another brand too that does an actual scrub and i thought yes girl you got to get a scrub. It just felt so good and it really did. I tend to get really dry right here and it really helped to kind of flake off the scalp, um, the dry scalp. So I picked up this because it was cheaper um, and it removes buildup, flakes, scalp smoothing, hydrating, rebalancing, gently exfoliating, non-drying. So um, I haven't tried that much or anything actually from Kristen S. So um, I thought these two, I think this is her newest line of like scalp stuff. Like everyone's into scalp stuff and i do like the briojo stuff but i thought i'd try something that was a little bit more affordable okay i also picked up from the new like stars above line like when i was there they had that new autumn line too with all of the choners chonies bras so cute um but they were still kind of rolling it out because i don't think it actually like debuts till today or tomorrow so i think they were still putting stuff out but um like how cute are these pajamas i am obsessed with pajama sets like like give them all to me i buy them at least once a week i feel like i had to like go through it last week and just get rid of stuff because i had so much stuff and if you're like me like you're so afraid to wear the new stuff that you just keep wearing the old stuff because you're just like does anyone do that like you love the new stuff but you just like don't want to ruin it or like wear it out so you just keep wearing the old ones over and over and over again and I did that so I finally just got rid of all of the old stuff so I was trying to wear the new stuff like like there's some special occasion I need to wear the new stuff for what else okay and then I also picked up you guys this has been all the rage and I totally like had to do it it's an all-purpose cleaner by the new Target brand smartly um uh, and it's the smells like citrus citrus grove which everyone says smells like the anthropology volcano is that one the volcano um candle i don't know i smell it, it doesn't really smell exactly like it but maybe when you spray it because this just smells like oranges guys but somehow they think it smells like the anthropology candle and even though i smelled it and i don't think it smells like it i still bought it because it was only like a dollar 97 <laughs> maybe all those people haven't excuse me haven't smelled the anthropology candle but i don't know i have the anthropology candle but i still bought it because you know go with the hype okay 
Next up, I picked up Easter eggs. I'm gonna use these for an activity with my students around Easter time for some fine motor, and yeah, they're gonna love it. Kleenex. Tampons. Oh, and I picked up this Sonia Kashuk 273 blending crease brush. I feel like I needed like something a little bit shorter and denser for my crease. Um, I have really big fluffy ones and then really narrow ones, but I wanted something that was still kind of in between that. So I picked up this. I, yeah, did I just say it was $6? $6. I thought I'd try it out because it couldn't be the price. And then, oh my gosh, one more thing for my students. My mom went into the 99 cent store and then I didn't want to go in. But then she like texted me these pictures of these like Easter things she thought my students might like. And I ended up not getting them. But oh my gosh, these erasers, you guys, look how cute these are. They're erasers, but they're a little food. Like, my kids don't erase, but they lo they'll they love to play with this. It has, like, the sushi with this little oven. All these kind of, like, hamburger donuts and stuff like that. It's upside down, but you get the gist. Um, these little ice cream ones that they come apart. They're, like, puzzle erasers. And then all these, like, fun, like, food. So I just thought they were fun. Like, I couldn't pass them up. I think that's it, friends. All right. So hopefully you enjoyed all of the randomness of this haul. If you have tried any of those makeup products, like the Bobbi Brown lipsticks or the Buxom blushes, and you love them, let me know. Or if you think there's any products that you that I'll love that you want me to like buy because you just might think I might like it, let me know. And yeah link and sleep guys um yeah so if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and if you've not done so yet don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>